Okay, Alex is up. He says, hey, guys, just purchased the battle plan. Glad I did. How common is it for competitors to report lead gen sites to spam or whatever, both the GMBs and the actual WordPress sites? Um, for me, it's been rather rare. I haven't really experienced that much. Um, I've actually had years ago when I first got into the business, uh, shit, I'd say it was, it was it was actually my first tree service site that I ever built. And one of the competitors did report that one. And I got it re reinstated, <laughs> which was funny. I had to re-verify it via mail. Um, and fortunately, I still had the uh, mailbox that I was using for that at the time. So I was able to re-verify it and get it. To, and he, he was just pissed because we outranked him um, like within a couple of months. And he'd been an established tree service business. But that was really the only time I've had to experience it. And I'm going to knock on wood. Uh, but I haven't really experienced that. So here's the thing. I mean, if you've got a, a, a good lead gen asset that's set up correctly and it's optimized well, and it's not super spammy and you've got the calls that are directing, especially, you know, as I always recommend to a call center where it's a valid pe person answering the phone right away. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. It's, it's hard to comp really bitch about that. Um, you know, to, to prove that it's a, a spam, you know, especially if you're doing service area businesses in your location, your, your physical location or the address, the physical address is hidden. How will they know? You know what I mean? It's not like, it used to be where sometimes you could still display your address. If you've got a service area business, you're not supposed to display your address. So how can they know? You know what I mean? So I, I haven't really experienced that. Um, again, fortunately, not saying it can't happen, guys. I'm just saying I haven't experienced it that much. Alex, uh, to finish up, he says, do you do anything to protect yourself from anger competitors? Yeah, like I said, I, I, I don't display the address. That's why I'm actually not building citations as much because... A lot of citation platforms still require you to display the address, um, or or, the, or you can't even place a citation on their directory. So I'm, uh, you know, again, I'm doing a lot of other stuff outside of using the because if we're using a, an address uh, that's not, you know, actually where the business is located, then we I don't want to publish that if possible. So that's just one of the things I'm doing is is doing a lot of other sort of stuff, a lot of on page stuff and other types of off page where I don't have to display the address. Okay. You got any comments on that, anybody? <clears throat> 